Shoulder. I'm tragic. Yep, a black candle. You see it again. We all know that means someone's pissed me off. This TK Maxx is even bigger than my local one. I'm in big trouble, man. Especially when I'm going down to the shoes. Oh no, I forgot I bought this. And I've got to figure out a way I had to sneak it downstairs in the kitchen. Mum's gonna kill me. <laughs> Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Making love like it's casual. And you text me in the morning, you're available. Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling. Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with. No more seeking. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll always choose you first. Yeah, my baby. It's true. It's true. So damn worth there's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find Cause you are Oh Very nice These are the best batteries you can get your hands on And they're cheap as chips So this is the only place where you can get like the smaller head and shoulders Yeah Excuse me But taste has gone up 350 in here Joke I do want to do a full face of makeup using Poundland makeup I can never ever get my shades. <laughs> yes. This is the only place we can get them. Shoulder. <laughs> look at the mugs, look at the mugs. Oh look, they've got Hocus Pocus ones still. Halloween. Yeah. Legally blonde. <laughs> it's quite alright, five, six quid, isn't it? Yeah. Oh look at the cat in the bird cage. That's so cool. For quid! Do so I need to get uh, wax melts, candles? But I've got to get them from Home Bargains. Oh my god, look at the Simba shoes! Bambi, look! <gasps> Let's go hunt some face masks. Right, these ones are really super good. These are skin treats. They've got hyaluronic acid in. Slimy, but they are really good. And we like some cheap ones in between. Now face facts. I've been really struggling to get face facts. That's what I needed. Thank you very much. This TK Maxx is even bigger than my local one. I'm in big trouble, man. Especially when I'm going down to the shoes. Oh, nice. I do need a pair of sliders actually for the summer. They're nice wedges. They're cute. They are cool. <laughs> Honestly, so frustrating because you can get them in here so cheap, but they're really small on the on the thigh, so I'm fine. But you've got really thick calves, and don't go for these. They're very small on the calves. Before we start, I'm not naked. I've got this on. So, <laughs> okay. So, you last saw me in an house salon, I believe, and um, I think tragic has happened. <sighs> yeah, we had them removed for a temporary break for a month. A month. Mm. Yeah, I've been advised to do some good old aftercare. So online right now, I'm looking for sh online. I'm looking for really good nail oil in the pen form. So I want to get a couple of those. So one for home and one for work. And then I need to get a really good nail file, a soft one because I've got acrylic ones. So when I used to do my own nails and it never went well, they always went really bad. It's just a bit too rough for my natural nails. They're like paper right now. <laughs> I literally always teared up when he was clipping each acrylic off of my fingers you should just see me now they are batty batty i look a bit of a mess today so today i went with my friend from work we went poundland home bargains tk maxx we went to white witch as well that was really cool got some witchy beats and i was like really super excited about that because i haven't been there in a little while but i've had a lot of going on going on you know so i haven't really been like getting out there and doing things and i've only been going like locally to places that like, i whenever i have the energy so i'm going to show you guys what i bought should we start with home bargains Let's start with home bargains. You didn't get that much from home bargains. I've been trying to find the pink stuff washing detergent and the softener for like weeks now and I can't find the sensitive one. The normal ones are out in my local store but not the sensitive one which is really annoying. First thing I got was the Highland Spring little six pack. You may know I have got a beauty cooler in my room but at the moment I haven't really been using it for my skincare because it's actually quite cold out so 
putting on really cold products it's not very nice unless i put a face mask in or something i put it in the shelves but i've been putting little tiny bottles of water in it so whenever i'm upstairs editing for hours and end sometimes i accidentally leave my big bottle of water downstairs then i go downstairs to get my big bottle of water only to get distracted downstairs and forget to go back upstairs and do the shit that I started. In case I get thirsty during my editing times, I got really happy because <laughs> it was not a happy time. Why does this give me good memory? When it was 2020, lockdown started, and Fabulosa became a thing. One of the first things I bought was the foam freshener in the unicorn dust. Guys, I haven't seen this for like over a year. Like they've improved all their packaging as well. There was one more unicorn dust left and I thought, hmm, are we trying to like piss off my mum? Because she absolutely hates this scent. This was 120 something, which is still quite good. This lasts me for about like a month, so it's all good. So it's just after you hoover and you just spritz this onto your carpet or like your velvet headboard or just anything upholstery really. It's really nice. Lemon and toning hyaluronic acid serum injection silk sheet mask from skin treats now this one is actually really good it's slimy but it does do the trick but it is absolutely fantastic last time it was a bit of a man to get it out of the um out of the pen this is a really really good deal and they're only a pound so you can't go wrong with that my friends so i've got one two three i'm pretty sure but four did i buy four so these are like 70 something p each and i've used these before actually do the trick really nice so these are the scents aloe vera face sheet mask they moisturize skin enriched with aloe vera extract and also it has after sun on it that's so cool so these are like 70 something p so i was like yeah, so anything with after sun in it too. It's all good. So these would be good for summer. If I find any more of these, I'm definitely going to be buying these for summer. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Daily Skin Therapy. And it softens rough, dry skin. So this is just their body lotion, but I'm really low. So one's on my bedside table. So I want one for work. I'll just keep it spare in my draw for a while until i run out of this stuff at the moment at my work i have this and i use this each time i wash my hands so this is a poor poor hand cream the coconut one's really nice so i use this for my hand and nails and my arms during the day at work so it's just easier to carry i'm trying to find little dispenser bottles that you can actually put on your work id i'm trying to find them that would hold cream and lip balms and stuff i'm trying i've seen it before I'm going to make it happen. But yeah, I bought one of these. They're like £3 something in Home Bargains. But in Super Dragonette, they're like up to 10 quid sometimes. Which is ridiculous. But it smells beautiful. Poundland. So again, Poundland only got a few bits. This was only for some essentials. I'm going to do a big haul during the week, maybe. Um, I've put a voting poll out for you. So obviously, guys, if you haven't been here already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Press on that bell so you get all the notifications for when I upload next. Also, check out my community page and then you will see voting polls, little bits of updates behind the scene. And yeah, so always keep an eye on those polls. We got two of these. I didn't want to be a greedy git. You know I love these. This is the Nair Sensitive Cream for legs and body this is the best hair removal that hello canon this is the best hair removal for your legs ever ever and if it doesn't hurt my skin it will definitely not hurt your skin trust me this is really good i collect them for the summer they're a pound each but they're really rare to get hot yeah they're so rare and i don't even know why I don't, uh, have they discontinued have they gone gone in liquidation or have they banned the product i don't know Gr oh, i just love them i can get them in anywhere i can get them in home bargains i haven't seen them home bargains for a very long time bnm and poundland is the only place i've been able to grab them i got two because i've already got four or five already at home and i keep getting questioned why i've got so many boxes of hair removal cream in the airing cupboard to put into the bathroom my answer is this this is gold dust liquid gold dust literally but again a pound each not too shashy oh no i forgot i bought this and i've got to figure out why i had to sneak it downstairs in the kitchen mum's gonna kill me oh my god i can't even that is the most cutest bunny mug I've ever seen for 125. 125. Again, 125. I never saw this. It has a little bunny tail. Oh, just look at his face. It's so cute. I love this mug because I've got a lamb mug. I think I've got a few spring mugs to actually take out the box in the spare room. Yes. My name is Chloe, and my Christmas mugs 
are still in the cupboard because I couldn't find the box to put the mugs in to get the other mugs back out to put them back in the cupboard. You know what it is? They had a chick and they also had another one. I can't remember what it was. I think it was a cow or something. So I might slowly go back there again just to collect the mugs. Stick them behind mummy's back so she doesn't lose her sh Look, we all know if you see my vlogs, you see my mum's perfect colour coordinated, shape coordinated mug collection that she uses and my dad uses in the kitchen cupboard. Then you see the <laughs> then you see the top shelf. Just see all it like this. I'm just all crammed up there, not even organised off there. I, I don't know. I don't know who to get it off of. Oh, I've got some sweets in the car. All sweets from Poundland. The Barlabites from Haribo. They're the best veggie sweets. Mm. If you like licorice cables, you will love them. Barlabites, they're called. I think you can only get them from Poundland, I believe. I'm not sure. Because I can't find them anywhere else. They're always exciting. We all know I love to go to White Witch and do a haul. Unfortunately, she doesn't like filming or any technology things in there, which is absolutely fine. Which you gotta respect the girl's wishes. First thing I've got is a gold candle. Now this is for something in particular. I'll tell you why. But how pretty is this gold chrome taper candle? Again, homemade. It's insane. Yep, a black candle. You see it again. We all know that means someone's pissed me off. Don't ask. We all know how much I love Star Child tea. It's so hard to get hold of. So this is the Dragon Sparks Herbal Tea. Now I haven't tried this one before, so this was £4.95. A little goes a long way, guys. You just get one of those teapots with a little, like, whatever, strainer in the middle of it, or even like just a little tea strainer thing that you just pop into your mug. A little goes a long way, guys. This is very strong tea. I normally get the Aphrodite tea that has violets in it and cardamom and mugwort i think uh, that's more for like self-love but this one is called dragon sparks blend of spicy herbs designed to stimulate body and mind this fiery composition kindles the inner fire and provides a boost of extra power when energy is flagging and concentration is at a low some like to jump start their day as a herbal alternative to regular tea or coffee no, I need to start my morning with tea or coffee. I haven't had coffee for months now. I was having a really bad tummy, kind of like, just after I was having either normal cheese. I can have Dairy Lee and that's it. Other than that, it, I get a really bad tummy. And then also, if I have coffee, if I had more than one mug of coffee a day, I'd have a really bad tummy ache. So then I converted from coffee to tea, which was... It wasn't a good start, but now I love a cup of tea, me. I love a cup of tea. But ever since then, I've never had a bad tummy ever again, which is really bizarre. This blend includes mate, a popular stimulant from South Africa, as well as Jinko, which is cherished for its ability to enhance mental powers and concentration. A smidgen of ginger, cayenne, saffron provides a warming spicy boots, boost <laughs> of vigor. I can smell it from the bag. Wow, that is strong. This looks very wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, I better put that away. <gasps> it smells beautiful. It's a gift for someone. So in her shop, it's someone that she knows. They make these spell kits. Now, spell kits are really easier. They're so much easier. <laughs> like, you know me, I, I'm quite simplistic when it comes to my practice. It's really simplistic. I used to be so over the top. I used to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on equipment where you do not need to do that. Now I'm more realising I'm on the simplistic side of it. This is a spell kit that has everything in it. The candle, the herbs, oils, notes, everything you need. Everything you need. So this is really good and the ointments smell beautiful. These are really handy. I will see if I can put this in the description down below what, who it's from. It's all homemade in it. It's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. It is amazing. These are 12 quid. But you do get a lot more than what you pay for in here and it works out a lot cheaper than actually buying lots of the stuff and then a lot of it you won't be using it again and then by the time you want to use it it's over 
like the herbs in that have over dried which is the worst that was my random haul now i am going to keep myself with the bubble tea face mask which is the one in Emery's bubble tea sheet mask it's hydrating and toning i've got an hour of bailey Sarian waiting for me and then i'm going to catch up with all things shannon then tomorrow morning we're going to have a nice long bath in the morning we're going to do some editing we're going to do a little bit of a a little bit of a pam i've got work late tomorrow night so i start from four and i'll finish about 10 ish anyway guys i'm gonna see you guys in the relaxing in the sun till we gaze it at the stars ever counting and counting nigga hung sang up for easier denny go to that way beat up off so i ain't going nowhere hi i can't believe it's the end of this week's vlog i've just done mother's day cards and prepared stuff for it didn't have a very good day today i was not very well <laughs> let's just let's just put it there i'm gonna be brutally honest with you this is my new 2023 thing is to be brutally honest and like i said for last week i see creators putting on a mask at the hardest times of their lives and they shouldn't do that it's not healthy i'm fine i'm okay but i am going through some things at the moment and if you're feeling this way and you feel like you've got to wear a mask don't if you're sad feel sad if you're sad talk to someone you know so like the last couple of days i've been spending like time with friends and stuff it's just made me feel like it doesn't make me feel better but it gives me a break with what's going on you know when you feel like it's just one thing after another one thing after another yada 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 it's like one of those days <laughs> one minute i'm fine next minute i'm really emotional then i'm not well and it's just yeah being back on here and editing and creating and that again has been so nice having those videos that i hadn't been editing for the past month and editing them now it's really been giving me a bit of an escape of what's been like you know going on in my life my scalp is so inflamed it's so bad i just want to say like today i put on a massive front this morning like i always do when i'm at work ain't good for me <laughs> It's not good for me at all. Like, it actually made me feel not well later in the afternoon. If you feel like you need to wear that mask, don't. It's not your fault you're going through something. It's not your fault you're feeling a way that makes us not feel great. And don't ever feel like you're burdening people by feeling emotional and feeling like you need someone, you know? People love you. People care about you. No matter who they are, they care about you. Always reach your arms out to people that care about you you know really makes you feel a lot better i'm not gonna close this vlog to make it sad i'm not doing it to make attention to myself or anything it's just something i've really learned today and i'm um, i'm tired of wearing the mask i'm happy and bubbly and it's not good for me to keep being bubbly and happy all the time even when i'm feeling at the worst let it be a lesson for you for the end of this vlog so i've not been well i've got flare-ups across my face it's just like one of those things and i did my washing feeling great i actually got a chance to do washing yesterday but i went shopping with my friend at work and then i got back totally forgot to hang the washing up this morning i got called into work early i was supposed to not start work till four but i got called in really early to go come in a lot earlier i just kicked myself in the gut i was so pissed off myself i come downstairs thinking oh i'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a good day today and then my pile of washing was still in the washing machine and I was just so annoyed and upset with myself. I've never been emotional about a pile of washing <laughs> this morning. Being a bit of an emotional roller coaster. More intense now but this is giving me an escape and if you're going through a really rocky time and you want an escape that's healthy to have that escape. Don't feel guilty about taking an escape for a while <sighs> just feel so much better when i'm filming editing you've got to find your escape and it's okay to go to the escape as much as you want you know that that's why it's called an escape don't let people make you feel bad about that either like my it's your happy place even though you feel like you shouldn't be going to a happy place we do deserve to have a happy place everyone does no matter who what you are so i'm gonna leave that as a positive note and i'm i'm okay it's healthy to cry it's okay doesn't matter how old you are where you are if you want to cry cry if you want to say that you feel sad don't not feel sad feel sad let people know that you feel sad or if you feel like everything's caving in on you let someone know get away from that situation that makes you just give 
just to give you that five minutes of escape. It's okay. Uh, don't let people at work make you feel bad. Don't let people around you make you feel bad about that. You mustn't feel guilty about giving yourself an escape for five minutes during hard, crazy times. Yeah, I learned that really big lesson today. It slapped me across the face. I was ill. <laughs> I was sick and I stood up and I was like yeah I am a mess I think I need to be okay with that but anyway guys it's very late it's half past 11 this vlog's due to be out in like nine hours and next week we're going to be doing a lot more things next week just this week I just haven't been very well so <laughs> it's just been a bit but I did take, I took you to Poundland I took you to Home Bargains and me these were the places I don't normally go to and a couple of them gave me strange looks. I felt bad so I didn't film as much as I normally would. Normally when I go to my local places they know what I do. Uh, lots of YouTubers go to the places that I go to. And loads of creators, TikTokers and you name it. And they know immediately what you're doing. You do go to some areas where they do not know what the hell you're doing. And you actually make them feel nervous. Or a bit confused or a bit cringed out. Probably not going to go back to that area again. Because there wasn't that much stuff. Next week we are definitely going to go to Poundland. And we are definitely going to Home Bargains. And I am most certain we need to go to Primark. But... I might leave it for another couple of few weeks. I was meant to go back on the Cambridge today, but I woke up and I just felt like defeated. I'm still recovering from everything I'm going through while processing it and going through it. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know, if you're not mentally ready to take something on, it's all right. It doesn't matter how old you are. Apparently, at your age, you should have that you should get grip and just get on with things it's okay to not feel like you want to get on with things for a while you know we're just human at the end of the day but always remember comfort is the enemy to progress it's okay to have a little break from everything while you're going through a bit of a crazy crazy time just keep looking at your vision boards and all the imagine all the things that you really want and just say you're gonna get there you're just gonna you're gonna take a detour for a bit and then you're going to go back towards your destination. Anyway, guys, so it's very late. My parents are asleep. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. That will mean the world to me. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you press that bell so you get all the notifications when I upload next. I'm just glad I'm back and I'm doing this as an escape. I haven't been doing it because I feel like, again, I'm going to make people feel slightly annoyed that I look selfish doing this. But this isn't being selfish. It's just doing being me and being who I am and just using this as an escape and it's like my therapy. Some people might think it's a bad thing what I'm doing during the time that where, like, I'm going through but it's my escape and I missed you guys, I really missed you and I'm really happy that you guys are slowly coming back and enjoying my content again, it's just really nice. Anyway guys I'm going to love you and leave you, next week we're going to have a lot more fun stuff believe me. I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!